What's up YouTube? My name is Mazek and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix Warzone not launching after the Ricochet anti-cheat update. I was having this problem, I looked it up online and uh, I found an easy fix for this issue. Okay, So when you click play on Warzone on PC with the anti-cheat update out, it says an error has occurred while launching the game. Please check for updates or scan and repair to fix this issue. Now, if I go to check for updates, it says my game is up to date. So that's not the problem. If I scan and repair on my PC, that usually takes around half an hour. That's literally 30 minutes of me sitting here, unable to play the game, and it's just a waste of time. Don't scan and repair because it's not going to do anything. I tried it. I waited the 30 minutes. And it said no issues found. The scan and repair was complete. No issues found. And I still wasn't able to play the game. So I click, I click play. And uh, it, it still says an error has occurred. Can't launch the game. Now, what you're going to want to do to fix this problem is just close Battle.net. All right. Right click Battle.net shortcut. Click run as administrator. All right. It's going to log you in. What you want to do is right click your taskbar here open up task manager and you're gonna see task manager here you see battle net update agent right click that and task all right then click play and just give it a minute And as you can see, the game is now launching. No questions asked. The pop-up at the bottom right there is my Razor Cortex. I have that running to uh, kind of free up some resources on my PC. It, it like optimizes your background processes. And uh, it's a pretty good program. I recommend downloading that. If you have a lower-end PC and you want to get like a better, smoother experience in game, Razor Cortex is free to download. And uh, I'll include a link in the description to Razor Cortex if you want to check it out. Um, it just optimizes your background processes. But yeah, we got Warzone loading up right now. And uh, as you can see, it's a very easy fix. Simple. One, two, three. And you're able to play Warzone once again. So if you guys did find this video helpful, if this method did work for you, go ahead and drop a like on this video. And uh, get subscribed for more. There's plenty more on the way.